Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get my next guest out here now. He's had an amazing few years. He's gone from selling pharmaceuticals to selling out the O2. Will you please welcome the always funny Mr. John Bishop? <laughs> I watched him. I know he's getting all over it. Thank you, thank you. I'm hoping that. Hold it. Thank What's you. That? That's very nice. <laughs> I've come to piss on your hand as well. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that? That's just that's just being polite in Liverpool, and that's just a nice way of saying hello. At I, I was there watching it, and honestly, God, we, uh, when you got that scorpion, everyone went, "Oh, this will be." <laughs> <laughs> There's not a chance he's going to survive this. Hold it. You, you, whose side were you on, though? You were on my oh, side? Oh, on the, the Scorpions. <laughs> I tell you what, what ratings would this show have? Because then, then after, you, obviously, your show would be cancelled, then they'd have to do an interview with all of us. How do you feel about Jonathan dying? <laughs> and, you know, and we'd all have to be sad, and then I've got Hold a it, chance you'd have to, to be sad. Yeah, I mean, you we'd wouldn't... all have to be sad for the camera going, yeah, Jonathan, what a great broadcaster, he'll be missed. And then, and then obviously, I've got a chance of a chat show. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you didn't come out and scare the scorpion. Uh, let me ask you about this time of year for you, because I was surprised, and I think a lot of people are surprised, because you are, you, you strike one as being a kind of a blokey bloke, right? When they find out you're a vegetarian, that seems to surprise people. And it shouldn't, of course. There's loads of, you know, very blokey blokes who are vegetarians. But it, people, when I tell people, they go, John Bishop, a vegetarian. I say, yeah, people well, are surprised, aren't they? When I say to people, I'm not a, I'm a vegetarian, I, I don't eat meat, they, they, they all look at me as if they go, well, you don't look like one. And as you say, what does one look like? I know, like? it's crazy. Uh, but I've been, I've been vegetarian now for uh, 27 years. So this time of year, though, is it harder? Because all of the... I mean, I know it's quite hard finding good vegetarian food sometimes anyway throughout the year, but yeah. Christmas, when it's so much a focus on a traditional kind of meal and that meal being meat-based, is it... Are you tempted ever to stray from your, your path? When I first went vegetarian, when I, and I was still living at my mum's house, it would be the whole roast and then a seven-inch pizza on top. <laughs> so you get the whole Christmas dinner, and then the, those little pizzas that you used to get in Iceland that were about that, because they were the only size of pizza that you got then. <laughs> An and individual it was just one. mozzarella, <laughs> and they were packs of seven, and you got one of them on top. Uh, whereas now, th this is a whole raft of food that you can have. Uh, so your family, your kids are all older now? Yeah, 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 yeah. So has Christmas at home changed for you, for the family, uh, the way you are with them? Because I guess when they're little, it's oh, a whole yeah. different experience, isn't it? It is. We're, we're, right, you don't know yourself. Our kids aren't, aren't dissimilar age. When they're little, there's the magic about it, and then they find out, and so you, you sort of, yeah. you know, you get normal, and then, and then there's that bit where the teenagers, well, you've got no control. Because what we used to do, and I still do it now, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, is, is the day after everyone's had... Uh, uh, been excessive. Yeah. So Boxing Day, New Year's Day, we all get up, get the dogs, and we go for a walk. <laughs> the last two years, I've got up and gone for a walk. <laughs> it was just me going, come on, come on! The dogs go, will you piss off? Because <laughs> the kids don't want to help. Why would they, they want to help just, them they now? Just, they're not bothered. Okay. But what about your wife? She doesn't want to join in and help you there? No, well, 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 normally by Boxing Day and New Year's Day, we've had a row. There's always... <laughs> it's great on Christmas Day, up to that point, isn't it, where you just think, you know what? You know when everyone's sat there and eating it, and, and you get that look across the table going, you're enjoying it? Because you've done f*** all to hell. <laughs> Right, well, go on, enjoy yeah. it. Go on, all your family here, Adi. Yeah. Aye, aye, well, you wait till they go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the cats for you tonight. <laughs> no, you oh, put your hat on, Nobed. Go on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go on, pull your cracker, because it won't be the only thing you're pulling tonight. Go on, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the spirit of Christmas right there. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> all over the country now. Men have got men have looked across the couch and gone, "That's you, that." <laughs> um, let me ask you about. Well, let me ask you about your autobiography. You, your book came out. Uh, how did this all this happen? And there was stuff in here, even though I've met you a few times, I didn't know about about your your kind of path from having like you know a regular job in the regular world and becoming a huge star in a very short space of time. Certainly, that's how it feels to me. But I didn't know that you'd had a drink problem. That you were binge drinking back then, and that's in, yeah. that's in here. I never knew that. Yeah, I mean, it was. What, what happened, because I'd split up with, with Melanie and I had the kids of a weekend, and then I did, well, because of the nature of the job I had, because I was a sales director, I couldn't decide where I was in the week, so I said I'd, I'd have them every Friday, I'd pick them up from school, and I'd take them back to school and nursery every Monday. And it meant that on Monday morning I was just depressed, so I started doing this thing on a Monday morning called uh, 
working from home, which is basically me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> which is what all the country's doing this week. Oh, I'm just working from home, that bit between Christmas and year. And I just, because it's just a horrible thing, dropping your kids off and thinking, I can't see him for a week. And I, I used to do a telephone conference, and during the telephone conference, I started drinking. I used to drink a bottle of wine during the telephone what? conference. And this was in the morning? or This was in the morning, till at 10 o'clock in the morning. Then I'd sit on the couch watching daytime TV, which was just depressing. <laughs> when you're going through a divorce and you're watching Richard and Judy, thinking, why can't I be that happy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have married my auntie. <laughs> so how much would you drink during the... Uh, uh, was it only a Monday or was it yeah, all Yeah, the just a Monday and then, 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 I, uh, then I, uh, I'd sort of clear my head. And, you know, it wasn't like I was tipping over the edge, but it was, it was becoming a regular thing. And then, and then what happened after about four or five weeks, I thought, I just can't do it. I've got to make myself do something on a Monday. And that's what made me go to a comedy club for the first time. So it was to get yourself out of that Just hole then? To, to not be in the house. I actually, in fact, I put a bit of it in the book, but I actually looked in the paper and thought, right, I need to go out on my own. None of my mates wanted to go out me because I was bored and I was just talking about getting divorced. So, so I looked for something that a man can do on his own, and the only thing I could find was lap dancing. And I thought, <laughs> I thought I'm not going there because you don't make real friends. <laughs> 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 so, I, uh, so, so I just saw this, this, this comedy club and, and, and went in and that obviously starts the chain of events that led to this. So in a way, what's lovely, without wanting to be too sort of simple about it, but in a way, you know, what, what, what got you so depressed was not being with your children and that got you into drinking and what got you out of drinking was doing comedy and what got you back to your family, really, was doing the comedy. Doing the comedy, yeah, it's a full circle. It was, uh, and that's, that's why, you know when people talk about, well, you're doing another tour or, or you're doing this and why don't you just stop because obviously you've cracked it and you think, no, I, I owe comedy more than it ever owes me. And also, it's just what I do. See, it's the place where you go, that's my job. I just love doing it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me ask you about the new tour then, a big new arena tour you're doing. You're calling it Supersonic. Yeah. I'm going to be Supersonic, man. Uh, <laughs> but have you written any of the material? You must have written some. I know. What I'm at the, at the stage that I'm at now, and this is the, stage, the, the most exciting stage, I suppose, is going to the small clubs, doing little gigs, just seeing if that works, that, that works, and just build it up. I know the last tour you did, you, you were concerned about having a big finish, especially in the big arenas you're doing now. You need a big finish. Do you have anything in mind for this new one yet? You're working well, on ideas? I can't ideas? tell you that. Can well, it's not a surprise. Cool. I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of a few things, yeah. I'm, uh, that, that's, again, that's the thing about it, because the show has got to build up to that. Hmm. So, uh, you know, it comes out of the material as well. I've got an idea for you. What's that? Two words. Shark tank. Shark tank. <laughs> Or even better, you pull, why don't you pull off at the end of the show, pull off a rubber mask to reveal you have been a woman all along. I thought you were going to say pull off a shark. No, I was going to say <laughs> that is a big finish. <laughs> pull off. <laughs> <laughs> so a shark tank, that could be it, couldn't it? It could be. It's, look, it, it I, I've be, just run out of jokes. Logistically, that might be a problem. It could be. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the big talk. Not, not just because I want to see the big finish, but I want to see your new material because you've never disappointed. I think you're one of the best comedians working in the Thank country you. right now. And it's such an incredible story that you came to you so late in life, but that makes it all the nicer when I, when I see you doing well. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Thank John you. Bishop. Thank you. OK. Let's have a look, see. I know we're going to do this in the show. As you know... Uh, Jamie Oliver and Jimmy Jockety are making food and drink for everyone for the end of the show. Just see what they've got in mind for you, because it's going to be tailored to you. What have you got in mind for John Bishop, guys? It's a variation on Scouse. We're turning it into a little pasty, but we used all the leftovers for Christmas, so got a yeah. bit of turkey, yeah. a bit of ham in yeah. there. Yeah, but John, yeah, yeah, yeah. John, we've just talked about the fact that he is, has been a vegetarian for the past, like, 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, we've, been, totally, we've been busy. Totally vegetarian. Get yeah, those, completely get those, vegetarian. Get uh, those, turnips, uh, swede. Get those, <laughs> get those bits of... Get those bits of ham out. <laughs> well, we'll, 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 we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll, fine. we'll get. We'll let you. We'll let you think of something. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it'll be delicious. Whatever it is. That is that about John Bishop. Uh, thanks, John. It's right. Okay. Still to come after the break, we have Ray Winston, Jamie Oliver, and Jimmy Duffy, and Rizzle Kicks. We'll be performing live, so don't go away. <laughs>